All right, so this is really the the uh, the haiku. This is it. This is the whole deal. This is every option simultaneously. Just kind of want to see what's going on. So starting here, I'm recording my FM9, and I'm using everything off of the radio, which listen to it. It's clean. Oh, that's even cleaner. That's no good. Yes, yeah, so those are ground lifts. Okay, so I'm using the radio headlight, splitting it out to the FM9, which is here. Then I'm also splitting it out to Billy with the DI. This is going to the Cameron Modded 800, into the Surreactive load, into Pro Tools, and I've got an IR on there. Okay. Stay with me. I've got a DI. Now, what I've got is I've got my 77 JMP plugged into the cabinet in there with the four mics on it. I got two on the greenback, two on the uh, two on the um, the Vintage 30, two on the Vintage 30, Vintage 30 first. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting those four mics into a bus, into auxes, and I'm bussing it to this single track. So if I go like this, there's the 77. So a lot of different things. I want to see if this works. I'm not sure about like where, where I'm at with samples from bussing to as opposed to like, let's say I just want to do two amps. This one's like more direct. The Billy, uh, the ocean is more direct, but it's got this. It's, you know, so I don't know, man. So here we go. I'm just gonna let it rip. Maybe we'll just mute the, we'll mute the DI. But we're gonna track the DI. And what we're gonna start with is tick ticks because we can utilize that to check phase, polarity, line. So let's just see something. And I brought, I set my phone up so we got two cameras. We're not using the camera today, just the, the webcam. is crazy so what we're gonna do is take them all out of record mode I'm gonna raise the, uh, the waveform size to look at these tick ticks whoa look at that so we've got these three are pretty close this looks like it's phase flip though or that no, it's probably this is probably it's probably way off. Let's not worry. Let's 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 not worry about the DI right now. I can't deal with that. So let's say this guy's first, right? So let's do this. You can ask questions if, if you're not sure about what I'm doing, but what I'm doing is I'm using the peak transient to line this up. So there it is. So if we line up off of this. This is 24, so if I come here and I go time adjuster, 
Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We would have to go the other way. It would have to be off of this. We would have to slow. Ah, okay. Give me, give me a second. So this would be 239. So let's do this. Let's, let's do this. I got a better idea. Let's put time adjuster on all three. And remember, the minimum for time adjuster is, uh, is four, four samples. So what I'll do is I'm going to phase flip. Yeah, I don't like this. Hold on, let me go back. Just give me one second. This this will make sense. Well, no, it may not, but where's time? Time adjuster. Okay, that's weird. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to flip the phase of the first track. We're going to keep the, the amps where they are. And this is four samples. So whatever sample this track here is ahead of this track, we have to add, if you really want it to be phased out, you have to add four. So let's say we go, it's 240. So now with this, which is the, the time adjuster on, on the second track, we're going to go 244. It's going to knock that back 244 samples. And then we come here, and that's 215, so we'll knock that back, let's say, 219. Does everybody understand that? The minimum when you have time adjuster on one track is four, because that's, I guess, the, the amount of processing, whatever. But I want this on because I want to I want to flip the phase of this. So let's listen now to the FM9. Let's listen to the Ocean Mod with this guy, the IR. And listen to the JMP now, Cabinets, Bust. <laughs> So now, let's see what the two amps sound like. One of them is a cab, mic'd and bust within it. The other one is into the surreactive load, into the converter with uh, a Mix IR3. I think it's all I have on this right now is the Rect. It's the Ownhammer Rectifier. Here's the two, two amps together. <laughs> are nice okay now we'll go to the ocean mod the second one that's IR and let's try it with the FM9 I'm just like so nervous to do this because what if it sounds terrible <laughs> That'll work. I mean, it's there's a softness to it, so I wouldn't probably ever do this. But I just wanted to try. So here's FM9 and 1AM. Some of the softness is the FM9. There's a little bit of in that patch. I'm working on that patch. So here's, again, just the Ocean Mod. Seventy-seven. That's beautiful. Seventy-seven brings that that this thing going on, right? Now let's just listen to that FM nine. Yeah, you're hearing that little wash. That's in the FM nine. I should have picked a different dang patch, but it does sound good. So here's here it is. Here's to, uh, two amps, one with a cab, one with an IR. And an Axe Effects. Now let's take off Time Adjuster. Who thinks this is going to be weird? Yeah, it's squawky, you know. Yeah, maybe, maybe you like squawky. I don't know. What do I know? But 
here's with time adjuster and polarity shifted. That's more of the sound of it, right? So remember, phase is flipped on the FM9. So we go back to this and we should see, it's gonna be, it's gonna look the same, but we're kind of explaining it here. Yeah, so there it is. So uh, see phase is reverse. See how that goes up on the FM9 and it goes down on the two amps. So I left the amps alone yeah, and there it goes. So that's the good news. It's gonna work. And you know, for playing reasons, I would maybe nudge these forward because you could do the same thing. You can figure out how many samples this is, highlight this, option H, and see samples. You can go 246 or whatever it is. You can set it to later or ahead, and uh, you can do it that way too. So, so the, the busing worked. The busing, the new Pro Tools is killer man and I got the I got the better hard drive. Let's now go back to this DI. Let's see what the scenario is with this DI. Yeah, let's go to a better one. See, I think and maybe this isn't the DI. Maybe that's the DI, is it? It's very odd. Let's go in one here. That's so weird. Let me let me isolate this. Give me one second. Ah, there you go. I don't think I can hear this. I think that's... A yeah, so if I was to come here and go like that, let's say... Yeah, I think that... Yeah. Okay, so does so everybody understand what I just did? This is the DI. So now the DI is almost identical to the FM9. So we don't even, let's just say we take and we put the time adjuster on the, the, uh, the FM9 and let's do the same phase flip. Because you see that the, the FM9 and, well, no, hmm, it's probably that. Let's try not flipping it. And 24, let's set this to 28. Does everybody understand that? Oh, no, because we're... Okay, this would need to go forward. Let's just chop this. I got a better idea. Let's just line it like that. Let's just say, right? We'll go back to four. Ah! Um, four. Okay, so now, in theory, these should line up. So let's try FM9 and the DI. And you're not necessarily going to hear it. Yeah, now if we come here and we flip this phase on the FM9, on the, on the DI, listen to the combo now. It's got probably hard to tell with a DI. Here's with it. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know, you get the gist of it. The, the key is that this works. Here's everything, DI included. This is gonna be awesome. It's my new guitar sound. know if anybody else is getting where I'm coming from this is dead on so that means I can work any way I want I can just plug into a guitar amp I can plug straight into my DI I have a sans amp that comes off the through the DI I could have recorded the dang sans amp I didn't but I could have uh, I can go out through two amps. I can do an amp and a DI. I can do an FM9 and a DI. I can do FM9 and an amp. I can do FM9 Two DIs, or an FM9, two amps, and a DI. One of the amps, cabinet, the other amp, IR. It's It never ends. The, the amazingness never ends. And there it is. Here's everybody. <laughs>
So there it is. So don't be afraid to experiment. All things are possible. Through uh, <laughs> all things are possible when you do ticks. It's the ticks in the beginning that tells you exactly where your li basic lineup is, and you just go from there. And it looks really weird, but you saw once you open it, you can line it up and flip the polarity. Yeah, so it's really, the only one that's different really is the FM9. I wonder if there's a polarity switch on it. Let's look at that real quick, and then we're going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did, because I am starting another song, and I've been programming drums. Yeah, I don't know, I don't see a polarity switch. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe it's inside the unit. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter. It's just when you switch it, you wish you had it the other one or something else. All right, kids. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is this is cool, man. This is the most uh, bad-to-the-bone, streamlined guitar rig I have ever owned. You can tell there's clashing with frequencies because I wouldn't necessarily combine those sounds, but you you don't hear it collapse because if it, if it was out of phase when I would go from here, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, you know, see, you hear that, that JP, the JMP, which is G-Bust, it comes out, it's got that, er, that 70s gurk to it, right? So it's so listen, listen to the listen to the ocean mod without it. Eight hundred. It's a little more like, ugh, right? And then and then watch when I pull it in. I don't lose the uh of the Billy. The, the 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 JMP comes in on it. If those were out of phase, that would get like, probably that Billy would get extremely hollow. And then so let's just say those two, and now we got. This is a 2C plus on the FM9. We'll bleed it in. Yeah, so it's just a little bit of frequency clash. But again, this was more of a logistic test. So there you have it. And I got a, a program, not a program, um, a, a course. I'm starting, it's called Ripple Training. It's the core course for Final Cut Pro. I'm trying to make my videos better, and I'm pretty good. I've been on Final Cut for close to 20 years. I'm decent at it. It's like I, I know what I need. I know what I use, and that's basically what I know. But I want my videos to get cooler. I want to learn. I want to learn about color grading and how to get a better sound and you know, got the cameras, we got it, it's, it's happening. So videos are coming and in theory, they're gonna be cooler. Here's my new guitar sound. Hey, I wonder if you could throw Amplitube on this. Give me one second and we are done. So this would be really crazy if this, no, harmonic. Uh, let's go Amplitube, just mono. So now I just put Amplitube on there. Oof, that is ugly. Oh, why is that so ugly? All right, well, that's ugly, but that's it. So now let's hear if 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 it's in phase. So here's the JMP. Now bring in amplitude. Yeah, it's 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 perfect. I mean, it's the amplitude is not perfect, but it's perfect. I can hear it. So we're good to go. Yeah, boy. What's that opening? Oh, 
what is that? You got to... Oh, God, what's that song? Knock on wood. Knock on wood. That's an old disco tune. like somewhere between that and 30 days in the hole later